and it's night uh, and everything then they go and present the thing and they say like look you have not filled it properly go fill it again go back blah 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 and sort of not very nice to them and I, I was wondering um, we only have Sri Lanka okay wherever we go as uh, Sri Lankans we have Sri Lanka but if you take a citizen of another country who landing in their country I don't think they are being treated because they even have uh, I mean now we have that they even had separate lines you know before now of course I think we also have as Sri Lankans our lines but I'm saying they were given much more better treatment in their own country and these people were not and they were bringing in the money which we were talking so much for a long time in my researches showed that uh, the money from abroad were running the country for a long time and at the time that when I discovered it, it was happening so and then you know I, I come to my village and I'm trying to find my friends and most of them are not there and I'm like wondering why well either some had been killed or gone or, uh, uh, or some have been flown to uh, 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 Italy so I'm like oh they're in Italy they all work uh, and send their money to Sri Lanka and then when I met them I start hearing their story because I wanted to make a story about these people from the Sahara but then I realized it's too um, too distant for me because uh, Sahara and me <laughs> I mean you know I'm in snow areas like when I'm in New York so that Sahara is too far for me so but when I found the stories of uh, 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 Italy. Sri Lankans in Italy I was like oh well that's this is, this is good uh, and my friends were there so it and was more close to your heart close to my heart from my village I mean you talk about Vennapu Maravilla that area it's like uh, some areas they call little Vennapu in Italy little Maravilla in Italy so um, then I thought okay let me make a movie about these people because this is my people and I know them and I, I I, I studied with them and uh, we had no class barriers when we were uh, uh, spending time as friends and I know I, I, I know how they they felt they, they how, how 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 they they were you know smell the whole thing so that was where the starting I point of, for of me less well. Right, so we've come to a very important uh, point where we can take the discussion forward, uh, but we have to take a short break. So we are speaking to the award-winning filmmaker, Vishwanath Buddhika, Kirti Sena, Budi Kirti Sena. We will take a small break and we will be back with you soon. Stay with us. Enjoy country music, you will help the children of Savana Sarana learn. So come for Country Roads, a country festival and fair featuring the Mavericks, Astrid Brook and Amelie Shufflier, Mario Zell, Anno Domini, Wagon Park and the Country Revival Band with Noel on the 21st of February, 4.30 p.m. onwards at the Dutch Burger Union. Tickets available at Cargill, Staple Street and Majestic City and the Dutch Burger Union, Thummula and at the gate. Welcome back. 
you're watching Roundtable and today we, are, we have with us Budi Kirti Sena, the award winning filmmaker. So we just spoke about how it all started and where it all started and from a village, a boy who wanted to actually become an Einstein. So now it is this Einstein gimmicks that we are seeing in all these films where he's breaking boundaries and sort of uh, surpassing all conventions. So it is in this interesting story we were discovering what was the cause and the root cause to come up with the concept of Miller Soya. And in that context, uh, Budi, you referred to something very important, I thought, when you said how you felt uh, when they came with the landing cards and they were not filled properly, where they were uh, just shouted at. And yeah. then you said you felt like Sri Lanka is their country and if we don't treat them, then what? Yeah, because so we were also living off the money that they were sending from other countries exactly. when they were earning. So this is where you sort of see a social problem and yeah. you analyze a social problem yeah. and you transform and you process it to, to cinema to sort of communicate a message. Yeah. Yeah. So if you look at what you said now, how important it is to sort of uh, respect the Sri Lankaners, I think mm -hmm. it's extremely important in the context of the post-conflict era. Yes. Because uh, now our greatest challenge is to start perceiving all of us as Sri Lankans. Yeah. So in that context, what do you think is the role of the uh, s mm, filmmaker in the post-conflict era? Well, it's very, uh, you know, I mean, uh, you know, my point of view is, um, you know, uh, when you make a movie, because for me, I always see us as Sri Lankans. I always saw us as Sri Lankans. And uh, it's very important to, uh, you know, everybody should have their, their, their original ethnicities to have their roots and their originality. Me as a Sinhalese and somebody else as a Tamil or a Muslim or a Berger, that's fine. But on the whole, we all function as Sri Lankans and that's very important. So in, in films, I mean, for example, I think a good example is what I'm doing right now, Mata which is also dealing with the uh, uh, you know you know the uh, the the the, uh, um, the 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 war that was happening in sri lanka and uh, you know in in that when i casted actors uh, uh, for example i'm not talking about the theme but i'm talking about my casting was if that person's character was tamil it'll be a tamil person and if that person was muslim a muslim uh, Sinhalese or Sinhalese because most of the time I have experienced previous and past films that were related to war uh, they did not bother too much about that and I made sure because I wanted to bring a very very factual and actual and very very um, you know uh, 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 true point to the cinema as well as to the world by establishing uh, the right thing so uh, right there, it's, it's one way of doing things. But then you have things like you you always were doing, and you can still do it. Uh, you, you just try to uh, uh, look at things uh, in a different perspective. Uh, I mean, different angle. You you can always um, make uh, 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 what do you call uh, bilingual movies. I mean, actually, my film is bilingual. It's like. 50% is Tamil and 50% is Sinhalese because we're talking about human conflict of uh, Sinhala and Tamil people so so you know you have to represent in such a way and those things are very nice to have and also I'm I'm, I'm also interested in having made documentaries things like documentaries I've, I've, I once saw a very beautiful TV commercial in America it was about the racial tension because when I while I was there there was racial tension I can't remember it was 91 or 92 I think one of those years um, they had a very big racial tension I mean people got killed and all those things were happening and I remember uh, there was a commercial uh, two people passing in the night and they were both looking at each other you know like something would happen and one was black one was white and then you know they come close to each other and they pass but they have this weird untrustness with each other 